Talk Show. Recorded live. Yes, we are here with Rick Fernando, uh, interviewing him about his Crazy Insane Radio. Um, well, first of all, let's get started on these characters. Who's Apronhead? Apronhead was a very diabolical character early in the first season who burned down the paper doll factory, killed the factory owner, and burned himself. One character escaped a living paper doll named Flashy. And here is, who is Hugh Milliton? Hugh Milliton is an anchorman at CRZY. He's a news reporter. He pops up in a lot of different episodes throughout all five seasons, and I'm, I'm currently working on the sixth season. Awesome. And tell us about Senator Quint. Senator Quint got killed off early on. He dies in episode six or seven, but his son is now running for the Senate. He was the victim of an assassination, but he's a key figure, and there's a storyline surrounding him and, and other characters. Who is Judy Vincini? Judy Vincini is the CEO and owner of Vincini Cosmetics. She inherited it from her father, Vincent Vincini. She occurs in many different episodes. Uh, she had a love interest with Senator Quint, and she pops up in numerous episodes throughout different seasons. Okay, well, we don't hear this name much in my character, but who's Shimiko Hiramoto? She was the only uh, female victim to survive the Murgatroyd serial killer, and she doesn't occur very much. As you say, she is a minor character. And who is Lieutenant Skitters? Lieutenant Skitters is the police detective in charge of the Murgatroyd serial uh, killer investigation. He never did successfully apprehend the serial killer, but he is a character, that, a recurring character that is in many different seasons. Ah, and who is the Murgatroyd serial killer? He turned out to be Apron Head's brother and the son of Judy Vincini. He has uh, escaped Murgatroyd at the present time, shall we say? And what about Uncle Frank? Yes, Uncle Frank is, is our wise local redneck hillbilly who likes to call into all the different call-in radio talk shows and voice his opinion. And he may sound like an idiot or a fool, but very often times whatever he's saying, as far out as it may sound, it's really true. It's accurate. It turns out later on in a future episode that what Uncle Frank has said is spot on. All right, who's Count Pedestrian 3? Count Pedestrian 3 is a power-hungry megalomaniac who wants to rule and control the world. He likes to pull strings, threaten and intimidate people. He did have a house there in Murgatroyd, but he also has a palatial castle over in a European country, and he flies back and forth. He was named as the suspect uh, in the serial killer thing by Lieutenant Skitters, and then, of course, Lieutenant Skitters believes he has linked Count Pedestrian III to the assassination of Senator Quint to the assassin who's been arrested. But Count Pedestrian is one of the ultimate powerful villains. All right. Who is Aunt Suki? Oh, yes. Aunt Suki is Uncle Frank's wife. She is a nervous wreck for lots of different reasons. She teaches a little children's class on TV and the Internet about local Murgatroyd history. That's Aunt Suki. And, of course, now the character we've all been waiting for, who is Flashy the Paper Doll. Flashy the Paper Doll is a creation of a cross, a clone, between human DNA and wood pulp. She was created secretly at a biotech tech lab by Dr. Getrick. She's a living, breathing, walking, talking paper doll. And she's in many different episodes, in many different storylines, and in all five seasons. All right, what about Bengali Boop the Clown? Yes, Bengali Boop the Clown used to chase and try to kill Flashy because he was, in fact, Apronhead's father. His real name was Jacobson Francis Niedermeyer III. He, of course, uh, did 